Uh, g'day there, gang. Welcome back to our One Team Three Ways. It's the Birmingham save going here. Been a hot minute since we played this one, but we're back to you now after all the Christmas and New Year festivities are done. I hope you had a really good holiday period, no matter what you celebrate, and I hope you all have a great New Year. Speaking of great New Years, it's been a pretty good New Year so far here in this save. I remember when we last came to you, we had the double header with Hull and then the New Year's Day match against Middlesbrough, which we won both of. Since then, uh, we drew with Wigan in the FA Cup, which wasn't ideal, uh, then lost to Bristol City, turned around and won 2-0 against Wigan second time of asking, and then had a bit of a ropey win against Preston here. Um, now we take on Manchester United today. I, I, I was going to bring you the Norwich game, I think, um, but we might skip the Norwich game and we'll go through the Swansea game. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes because uh, that will also cover the end of the transfer window. As far as transfer goes, we, we, there's been no action on the transfer yet. It is still, as I said, the same squad that a Birmingham have in real life. Now, part of me did want to sit on this save and try and recreate the transfers or whatever that happens at Birmingham. Uh, do you know what? We're going to make this a short episode. We're going to do the Man U game, and then we're going to sit on it, and we're going to see... Um, see what you viewers think. Should I just play through a season now as I would play and go gung-ho in the transfer window and see where I can go? Spoilers, there won't be a lot happening. We've got no money. Um, or should I wait and see and try and recreate the real-life transfer window as well and get on with the AS Roma save? Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Anyway, today we take on Manchester United. So we will leave that. This will be a short episode today. We're just going to take on Man U. Um, injury and form-wise, well, let's have a quick look here. Joe, you know what? We're going to go balanced today. It's Manchester United. Let's be let's be honest about things here. Uh, we have Dini out. That is two to three months. That is a worry. He got injured in the last game. So Jukovic comes in for him. That is a worry. Troy Dini being... Uh, other than Scotty Hogan, the Colonel has been our main source of goals here. So Dini is out. So that probably means oh, we're bringing, uh, what's his name? Uh, he's here somewhere. Leko. In comes Leko. Uh, and we'll put a couple of kids in the team here just to fill it out. Friend's still injured. Who hey, comes in? Uh, uh, Gary Gardner comes in. And we need a striker. What's his name? He's here somewhere. Kayla, where is he? A few moments later. He's already in the side. That's where he is, Radio. So we're all good there. Kayla in there. So we will we'll just chuck George Hall in here. Pretty much similar things form-wise. There's been Harley Dean after that good start. had a bit of a worrying drop-off. Rico Brown's had to come in for a couple of games. Uh, Bellingham continues to do well, averaging a 7.14 over his last few games. Um, Gary Gardner would be good to reintroduce him into the midfield because Bielik shot. Uh, Bielik's obviously... Still not recovered from his World Cup campaign. Um, much like real life, really. I think I'll risk Ruddy with that. I mean, the last time I played Etheridge in goals, it was an absolute laughing stock. That's when we lost to Hull. Uh, and um, it was just sixes and sevens at the back there. So I think this is how we're going to run with things. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to play Austin Trusty instead of Harley Dean there. And we're going to leave Longello at wing back. Now, we're definitely going to be hitting these guys on the counter. I think we've got the right... Um, I think we got the right setup uh, to do well here. We might drop this Mazala back to support a duty, though, just so we've got a little bit of more crunch in the midfield. So we go into this with Ruddy and Goal, Longello, Trusty, Roberts, and Colin. Colan, sorry, as the back four. Christian Bielik and Janinho Bakuna in the center of the park. Uh, Graham. Um, actually, I'm not going to play Graham. I'm going to play Plaheta. Uh, just as a winger. Um, and Chong on the wings. Bakuna and Chong continue to have a good little partnership there. And uh, Jukovic and Hogan up front. A big concern uh, starting a Jukovic. He has not really played that well. 16 substitute appearances. One goal, one assist, two starts. I think it was the last episode that you saw him go. I, mean, I love the big Juke, but much like real life, his legs are starting to give up on him. And things aren't going well. <laughs> for for the big juke uh at all rightio let's go uh let's do that just gonna pump the fist and tell them that just need to go and prove everyone right that the praise is justified you know or and just, just get out there and kick some ass rightio it is the big stinking pile of manure here at st andrews i mean 
regardless. Of, oh, all right, really? Cole Ann's injured. It's only a bruise. It's only a bruise. That is lucky. Um, nice big attendance here. That will ideally help with our income. Having said that, we've only got half a stadium. I don't think that's reflected in game, though. So we'll see how we go. It's Harry Maguire on the ball here. Ericsson in the middle of the park. Finds Shaw on the flank now. This doesn't look good. Uh, Cole Ann there, yes. Has to draw off Rashford there. Gives Rashford a bit of a room. Ericsson. Oh, that's how you'd expect Manchester United to play, really. That is a very, very lovely goal for Manchester United. Not very good for Birmingham City, but it's a lovely piece of play here. Uh, that ball from Ericsson is the one that did it there. And then just a lovely bit of prey there to draw Maxim Collan off there. Uh, Rashford gets a bit of space, finds Ericsson, who's followed his own passes into the box, and it is 1-0 for the Manure. Pretty much, oh, this is a goal. Uh, pretty much how I expected things to go. Hat trick in coming for Ericsson. That's my prediction. Oh, he's off the par. He's off the post. Off the. I couldn't decide whether I was going to say post or bar. And uh, it came, came off the par. That is a golf terminology. Rightio. Hogan is absolutely taken out by Casemiro. Casemiro might be getting a red card here. Yes, it is. It's red. Red card for Casemiro. Boys, boys, boys. Get on the front foot. Positive mentality. Rightio. Roberts with the throw in. Finds Bakuna. Bakuna in. Trusty. Oh, he's been good off the set pieces lately, Austin Trusty. But no cigar there, unfortunately. And it's still no goal. Rightio. Someone else has bloody hurt themselves now. It's the big juke. Jukey's hurt himself. Right. Now, this leaves me with the question. Do I bring on Joe Bellingham and play him as a shadow striker in behind? Oh, that's a lovely tackle from Taith Chong. But it comes to nothing. Marcus Rashford. Rashford goes himself. And the ball goes out of bounds for a goal kick. Um, I do what? We'll bring Leko on there. That's a good shout. But I'll sort it because I don't want him as a target man. Tactics. Rightio. Um, Leko. Uh, not a target forward. We'll just play a pressing forward. Support duty, please. And um, hopefully that gives a good little bit of interaction here and we can still find the Colonel up front. Yeah, nah, Duke. Sorry, dude, but you're done. Um, arguably, Leko has been a bit better than uh, the Duke in the opportunities he's been given. I think Leko's got two or three goals. I think you might have even seen a couple in the last episode. It has been a while, gang. It's... um. Yeah, it's just, oh, Plajeta with a, oh, the Haya comes out and gets it, though. Um, it's just been interesting. This is going to be a long over-the-top kick to one of their strikers, and they're going to score. Oh, no, there's no one home. Trusty brings the ball back out for us. Manny Longello, Plajeta looking for the colonel, but it's, well, it's a bit of an optimistic ball, that, from Plajeta, to be fair. But we, we need to score a goal. I get why we're doing it. Right, that's a lovely ball for Rashford. Rashford uses his pace, pulls Collian out of pace. Still Rashford, Fiorentino. Oh, Rashford's been involved in both. And Maxim Collan wasn't at fault for the first one, but I think I need to point the finger at Big Maxi there for this one. Just Rashford's pace absolutely murders him here, and he just gets absolutely killed when he goes in for the tackle. Rashford just goes around him. Too much skill, too much class. Florentino there in the middle there by himself and leaves Ruddy with no Ruddy chance whatsoever. There it is. There's the... The, 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 there's the ruddy pun for that today. Uh, I haven't had any complaints about them in the comments, so I'll, I'll keep I'll keep ruddy well making them because I ruddy like them. Anyway, Martinez and um, Maguire knock the ball around between the two of them and their sent and their lower defender there. Chong does well chasing back there. Um, continues on attack duty. That's really good at his chase back. Look, I like the cut of the jib of Tath Chong. I really do. I've seen other playthroughs from other people where he's just ends up on a shitload of money and killing the club. And I think that is the long-term thing with a Birmingham save, that if you hear long-term, oh, Leko should have done better with that. That was a lovely piece of play from Birmingham City and gives us some hope for the second half here. But, oh, dearie me, Maguire and Martinez again here start things off with Van Der Beek. Um, had a reasonably good World Cup, Maguire, I think. Uh, may have shut a few of his critics up, but who am I kidding? It's English football fans. Um, you only have to lose one game, and it's time for the manager to be sacked. Martial gives the ball back. Van der Beek. Oh, Martial breaks through. Martial scores. They're, this is 10 men. Uh, this lot, they need nine. Can you have another man sent off, please? That'd be lovely. That'd be nice, thanks. Um, that miss from Leko, um, even more being rude now. 
It wasn't a miss. It was saved. He just he just should have scored. He just should have bloody scored. Um, show me something else in the second half, boys. Show me something else. Right here. Um, let's have a look at the ratings. Oh, there's some fucking passengers out there. Manny Longello being one of them. Mark Roberts being another one. Oh my god, we're we just we're playing terribly. We are absolutely playing terribly. Um, yeah. Struggling to meet the pace of the game, yeah. Kind of what I thought might be going on. Do we bring on Joe Bellingham now? And just say, look, we're gonna rest someone and we're gonna bring Job on. It's not really Job's position that's not playing well. Um, it's Mark Roberts. Yeah, what? Well, we're gonna bring Roberts off. We're gonna bring throw Harley Dean out there. Actually, we're gonna throw Dion Sanderson out there. How about that? How about that? There we go. The start of the second half. Um, we could do without him getting sent off in the second half and getting a card. And I'm very much thinking of the ongoing league campaign at this stage now, rather than just this FA Cup tie. Uh, right here, Erickson again puts the ball in. Martinez, the little man on the back post there. Can't quite not at home. Apparently, according to um, Roy Keane, not going to do well in English football. Um, from what I've seen him, he's actually doing all right. Right here, we're going to make some subs now. Um, let's get some kids out there, come on, shall we? Uh, on you come, Job. I hate it how it does that, guys. I hate it how it does that. Um... Oh, is Chong can come off. Who, on, who can go on for Chong? Actually, let's undo that. I'm going to put Bakuna out as the inside forward, change it to a winger because that's what he does. Actually, you know what? We're going to try something different. How about you go out there as an advanced playmaker and see what we can do? Chong comes off for Joe Bellingham. Uh, Plajeta is. Probably the only good player out the pitch, actually. Do you know what? Bakuna can come off. I'm going to bring Jordan Graham on. And we'll just go to winger. That's that's not completely screw everything up. Drop back to a support duty, please. Let's not make this too nasty. And obviously Hannibal can't play against his parent club, so he's not in the lineup today. And um, Gary Gardner can get some of the time that I've promised him. And um, the Colonel not playing well either. I, look, I, look, I think this is just turning into a, a rest fest. Oh, I can't make any more subs. Oh, we're done. All right. Keep team to Let's pump fist. Get out there, guys. Plenty of time left. A couple of goals here. Who knows? Man, you might choke. We, They might choke. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. We've got two short forwards out there. Maxine Kyan's absolutely spent. I probably should have looked at that beforehand. Uh, Austin Trusty having a real bad game. And this is just an absolute, well, there's no other way to say it. It's been an absolute shellacking. 3-0 um, to a 10-man, oh, probably could have done on the square in that, Jordan, um, against a 10-man Manchester United side. Okay, it's Manchester United, but it's 10 men. What are you doing, boys? What are you doing? All right, yeah, Bellingham and oh, Gardner. <laughs> the typical Gary Gardner. That's as per real life. Gets book coming on. Sanderson, I'll right off the bench. Trusty ends up with a six. Eee, I'd expected a bit of effort there, boys. Uh, I'm just going to point the finger so I don't like what I saw from this team. I think they're all going to understand that. Right. So, like I said, guys, let me know if you want me to move on to the next side and we'll start trying to recreate the transfer windows if we can. Or if you just want me to play this one through before I start AS Roma, let me know. Um, otherwise, we'll come back to you after the transfer window at some stage and we'll let you know what changes we've made. And I'm thinking probably maybe one, maybe two more episodes for this season, for, for this save. Um, let's have a look at the schedule. Yeah, look, perhaps I think we come back to you for maybe West Brom and Cardiff. And then probably one more towards the end of the season so we can establish our final spot. Well, it's good to be back in the swing of things, boys and girls. Pity about the bad result. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you just want me to play this season through or if you want me to do my best uh, recreate the transfers that, if they do happen at Birmingham City in this transfer window, that have been mean a month away from this save. So 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Apparently, you should hit the notification bell, even though it doesn't bloody work. My name's Waylon. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Happy New Year, and I'll see you next time.